Greetings and salutations. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the program MP3 Gain. We're going to do this from a command line. We'll talk about what MP3 Gain is and where you can get it. If you have a large music collection and your files are in MP3 format, you may find this very useful. I'm doing this video by request. Somebody asked me to show how this is done, so I'm going to do it. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what MP3 Gain is. It is a program that changes the levels in your mp3 files your volume levels and it does it by an average so if you have 200 mp3s and they've all come from different discs or different places and they are all at different volumes we know how much fun that is to listen to in a shuffled playlist because one thing's real quiet the next thing comes blasting through well this takes care of that problem and it does it in a different way than like standard replay gain does replay gain adds a little note in the tag and then it tells whatever player you're using to set the correct volume or gain when it plays back that works if your player supports it if you play your mp3 file somewhere else then it may ignore that setting and then you're not doing such a hot job with mp3 gain it actually modifies each frame of audio information in the file and it tells it what gain to be at so regardless of what device or program you use to play that mp3 file it will have the correct gain in relationship to its neighbors there are some settings on mp3 gain i want to address this up front because i just had a conversation with somebody not too long ago about this if you go look in the forums or something like that they'll say to modify the target gain it is usually set to 89 which is an arbitrary level which is about minus 6 db uh, overall and some people say no jack that up to 93 your, your mp3 files will be real quiet well, if you do that, you're going to get really inconsistent results, okay? You're going to get things that clip. You're going to get things that don't sound right. It's not going to do what it needs to do. That target gain is really where it needs to be. So anyway, to find out information about MP3 gain, here's the manual page. Usually when you install it, you don't get the manual installed on your Linux distribution. So here it is, and this shows you all the options and everything. I'm only going to show you a couple of options today. If you are using Ubuntu 1604 and up, you may notice that MP3 gain is no longer in your repositories. Martin Wimpress comes to the rescue. He is the head developer for Ubuntu Mate and also an audio nut. So therefore, he is actually providing MP3 gain in a PPA that you can go and install on your system like you would install any other PPA. You can also come in here and just download the MP3 gain package, which is probably the easiest thing to do, and then install it with something like GDB because that way you don't have to worry about hooking up a PPA. Of course, now Martin Wimpress, I would consider to be a trusted PPA for sure. So what I have done is I have added a couple of freshly ripped albums to my system, and I'm going to show you the options here for using it from the command line. There is a front end called Easy MP3 Gain GTK, which is still available in 1604 but not in 1610 and harder to find in other distributions of Linux. So if you can find it, great. If not, you can always run it from a command line. And I've gotten to a place now where the command line is just as easy, so it's no big deal. So how do you do this? Well, first of all, you got to have some MP3s to work with and you can navigate to wherever you have them in your terminal so I have a directory called work and then in there if we list the storage you're gonna see that there's a couple of albums in there Dave Brubeck, Dave Brubeck's greatest hits and I also have Genesis and Invisible Touch so if I want to go to the Dave Brubeck di disc there I just type in that have that autofill bam that's fine but if you have ripped in 400 of these it might be a little bit uh, difficult for you to navigate that way there's another way to do it and I'll show you how if your distribution supports it some do some don't depends on your file manager but let's go into the work directory here from the file manager and then we will open up Dave Brubeck and you see that we have our songs in there and then I can right click somewhere and it'll say open in terminal bang now we're already there so you could just go through and do it this way. If you have a bunch of MP3s that are not albums, 
Like, that's the way I store my stuff. I just do songs. I don't divide things up by albums and directories and stuff like that. I just have, you know, put my favorite songs in there, and I've got about 20,000 of them, and I'm not exaggerating. And so, therefore, uh, my chance to do that in a more orderly way has long since passed. I started collecting MP3s probably around 2000, so there you go. But anyway, we're here. And so the command that we want to issue is just mp3 gain. Okay, mp3 gain. Could have auto-filled that. I didn't have to type all of that. And then there are a couple of options that we can give mp3 gain. And these are important to understand. Since we have things done in albums, if we give it a dash A option, what it's going to do is it's going to find an average gain close to the target for all of the songs. But if one song is quieter than the other, it is not going to try and level those out. And that's to keep the original producer's intent uh, as far as how songs relate to one another on the album. Some albums artistically are done where you'll have a quiet song and you'll have a loud song. This preserves that if you use the dash A attribute. And then you don't even have to put MP3 in here. You could just put in a star, which is basically you're telling MP3 gain, go grab all the files in this directory that you can work with, i.e. MP3s, and do your thing. So let's turn it loose and get it going. It's going to go through here and it's going to analyze this stuff. And this shouldn't take too terribly long. One of the things I like about MP3 gain from the command line, as I've noticed that since I've started doing it this way, then it doesn't suck up a lot of system resources while it's working. You can have this thing chugging along and doing hundreds of files in the background, and it just goes off and does it. So it is analyzing all of those tracks, and then it set the gains, and it said it set everything to minus two. So there you go. That's how you would do in an album and keep the gains the same between songs. So let us uh, go ahead and... Uh, move up one directory here and we'll list the storage again and we are going to change into Genesis which is another album that I have ripped and then we're going to issue the same command but this time I'm going to use the R option now what this will do is it'll take all of the files in there and it'll analyze them individually and then it is going to set the optimum gain for each file. This is what you would do if you had a whole bunch of files in a directory and they were unrelated to one another. They're not, you know, you don't care. You just want everything to be a nice, consistent volume when you're shuffle playing them. So let's go ahead and turn that loose. And now you see it's doing it individually for each file. So you see that it's uh, actually probably going to assign different gains to each file. We'll see what it does when it's done here. That track six on there, it's a long one, boy. So that one didn't even need to change much about the... Uh, uh, sometimes when you do this, you'll find that the gain doesn't need to be changed. It's exactly where it is, especially if you're ripping in CDs from the 80s, okay? And the reason why that is, is because that uh, back in the 80s, they didn't use a lot of compression in mastering CDs. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at what happened. So the first one that I'm going to open up is Dave Brubeck here. I'm going to open this in Ocean Audio so we can see it. And you will see that when it opens up in Ocean Audio, that the file is going to look a little low. See, that's there is a little limiting here, and it's turned it down to make it so it's, you know, where it's supposed to be. I'm curious. I'm curiouser and curiouser. Yeah, I still got that glitch. Unfortunately, the CD ripper that I like the best is Asunder, and there's a little glitch in there where it kind of gornies up the MP3 tags. I have to go back and fix that later, but I just like the ripper an awful lot. I tried a bunch of other ones. So let's open up another file. Let's open up the, one of those Genesis files as well here. And we're in work, Genesis. And we'll go to just one of the songs on here. And as you can see, these guys, when they play back, back to back, even though the Dave Brubeck was obviously louder because it was limited, is 
that you're going to get a more consistent sound. Now, some CDs, when you do this, what you're going to end up with is just going to be look like a block. It's a square wave. That's because they've used so much compression and limiting on it that there's no dynamics at all left in the music. And so if you would be playing that, and then you would be going into a file that looked like it had some dynamics like this, you could imagine that it would sound awful. So there you go. That's the basic primer on getting going with MP3 Gain. I will put in the description to this video the links to Martin Wimpress's PPA for Ubuntu. Most other distributions have it in the repositories that I've looked at at least. And then also uh, I will put a link to the man page so you can read up on it. And that's how you use MP3 Gain. That seems to be the best way to do it as of right now. Thank you for watching the video. Do check out Easy Linux on the web. Check out Easy Linux on Facebook. Check out FreedomPenguin.com for lots of really groovy stories about Linux. And thank you for watching.